Hi everyone, we're back today. This is take two. Um, that's why there's already paint in the cup. And so I'm going to show you what... Let me make sure there's no seal on this. Okay, there is. Let me just take the seal off. This is a new um, bottle. Um, okay, so the paint I'm using today is Artist Loft Flow Acrylics. This is black. Um, and we're mixing paint for the blob art. I've had a lot of questions, a lot of um, maybe confusion, because this is something new that not a lot of people are have seen yet, and um, they're trying to do it, which I greatly encourage. You should definitely try this. It's a lot of fun, and the results turn out beautiful. But um, it can be kind of hard to get started. It was for me, so I don't expect anyone else to get it first try because it's not usually that easy but um we're putting our paint in the cup Ooh, I think I just bumped the camera and we're gonna take golden extra heavy gel I have the gloss one and we're just gonna scoop out a little bit of this this is just like paste stuff you don't really need too much that's probably good right there just that much, just that little bit. This is a tiny little popsicle. I'll show you it compared to my thumb. Not too much. It's about the amount of my fingernail. That's a good comparison. And we're just going to stick that in there. Put the cap back on this. And we're going to stir it up and see what it looks like. Okay. And you'll notice it might get kind of chunky for a minute, but just keep stirring. It'll work out. Okay, I have to come around the other side of this camera here so I stop bumping it let me see if I can get around it without bumping it I'm a ninja <laughs> okay here we go go again and you'll notice it'll start to thicken up on you just what it's supposed to do and once there's no more lumps and stuff in there and I kinda like to smush the popsicle stick up against the side to make sure you get all of that heavy gel medium off the popsicle stick because look you can see here this clean spot here and here that's where the gel spot or the gel stuff was so make sure that comes off the popsicle stick or you could always use another one scoop some out throw it in there and then start up with a separate one and then you won't have that problem but I didn't want to use two popsicle sticks for this so make sure you scrape the edges and just keep stirring, just keep stirring, stirring, stirring. And so normally for acrylic pouring, we use the test of seeing how fast it'll run off the stick. You don't really do that with this. Let me see if I can get this. Um, I should have chose a different color to do this with. Um, but so when you pull the stick up and out of the paint, you should see it come, uh, like peak, like, um, um, what am I trying to say here? Like the whipped cream peaks. Like, if you've ever made whipped cream, you'll know when you're stirring it in with the electric hand mixer and you pull the whisk out, it'll leave little peaks and that's when you know it's done. That's kind of like the same thing with this. When you pull the popsicle stick out, you want to peak. It's okay if it settles back in a little bit, that means your paint will flatten out a little bit when you um, do your little blobs but that's kind of a good thing because that means it'll um, it won't dry like a dome it'll dry more of like a disc with dimension if that makes any sense and then I'll show you how I get my paint into the squeeze bottle and then we'll wrap up the video because this is not meant to be a long video. Oh, and I'll show you the squeeze bottle. Just something I picked up at Blix for like... Um, I, th I want to say it was like a dollar or two maybe. I don't know. It was a while ago. But I'm glad I got them because now I can do plot part. So, I have a funnel here. here. Let me scoot this in view. Just a funnel. There's already paint all over it, but that's okay. And then we're just going to scoot the paint in. And if you wanted to wait for this to just 
slowly drip out of the funnel, you'd be here forever. So, what I do is I kind of hold the bottle and just like um, move the funnel up and down because when it hits the the rim here, the rim of the bottle, that force will throw the paint through the funnel. Now we're getting scientific. The scientific forces. I'm sorry. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Alright, but you can see it's going through pretty fast. And before it gets to the bottom, I like to just fill it back up because you don't want to be um, trying to get the tiniest little bit in here. You'd rather have... It's just more efficient when you have more in there. So when you start to get low, just fill it back up. And we'll do it again. And maybe I'll do a blob on the table for you. Don't worry, it peels up. <laughs> My mom always tells me, this isn't our table, you can't get paint all over it. Well, the paint peels up. Sometimes it does, and sometimes it doesn't. So. But I mean, it, it's... This table I have now claimed is my art studio. <laughs> which is in the middle of our living room. Okay. And, okay, I know I told you guys I would do the the next geode I do on camera, but I didn't because I didn't want to look like a fool, because I still have no idea what I'm doing. I, I really love those resin geodes, but I just, I don't know, I seem like I can't get the hang of it. I just got to keep trying, though, because I'm finding that I'm getting closer to what I want, but still not exactly what I want. So, if you have any um, ideas or um, tips you can give me on how to do resin geodes, I would I would be very appreciative because I I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I mean, the, I'll show you guys in a minute, but this last one I did did not turn out. Um, well, I mean, it turned out. It it was definitely better than, uh, than I was going, well, okay, it was better than my first one, in my opinion, which is good, that means I'm improving, um, okay, I'll screw the bottle on, and I'll show you, uh, doing a blob here just on the table, actually, wait a second, hold on, let me grab... Uh, let me see. Hold on. Here. Okay, so what we're going to do this on is just a piece of photo paper. This is Kodak. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Let's see if it'll focus. Kodak uh, inkjet paper. This is just stuff we had lying around, so... This is what we do the, um, oh, I just tried to pull a cap off, even though there was no cap on. Uh, this is what we do our leftover paint on, the swipes and squishes and stuff like that. And so you just want to hold it still and do it kind of slow until it forms that bubble that you like. And then you just let it dry. But there's one thing I have learned doing this on top of uh, blobs. So if you're doing your second or third layer, make sure you underfill it just a little bit because sometimes the paint will spread. And I've uh, had one on one of my pieces that spread completely over and now it covered up the base one. But I mean, it's okay. It, there's only one underneath of it, so it doesn't look horrible. But yeah. And what I do like to do is I do like to give it a quick torch and just get those bubbles out. I didn't know if you could see those pop, but they definitely did pop. 
And if you come back and just give it a quick torch every now and then, every hour or two, it'll kind of hold, um, help the blobs hold their shape a little bit, I've noticed. They won't have, because uh, you're drying the, you, 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 uh, whoa, what was that? You'll be drying the edges a little bit, so they don't um, just want to keep spilling over. They'll kind of stay a little bit tighter. At least that's what I found. Maybe it'll be different for you if your paint consistency is different. Um, I also use Liquitex Basics a lot. That brand of paint, this one. Oh, there's um, paint all over it, but Liquitex. That's a pretty good brand. Um, let's see what else? Acrylic Academy or Academy Acrylic. Um, Artist Loft. Yeah, pretty much anything you can find. Any acrylic will do. And I'm sure even these little fluid acrylics would probably work. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see what the consistency of this is. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Don't try using fluid acrylics. Um, I don't think it'll work very well. So, oh yes, I was going to show you the geode before, um, before, uh, we close this off. Let me take you down here. Oh, what's happening? Okay, there we go. Whoa. Okay, so here's, uh, third layer of this one. Still on the second layer of that one. I have to do another layer on that one today. And here's what you're all waiting to see. The geode. I mean, it kind of looks like a geode. Sort of. I'm thinking of putting another layer on. Just like little rings. Before I do the paint pens. Which you just do like the outlining of the rings. But, um. Yes, very sparkly. Got some cool dimension. I'm not sure if I can. Uh, there it is. Yeah. There you go, you can see that kind of cool. Um, and it dries very glossy, which I like. But yes, that's the geode. If you have any suggestions on where I should put the next layer and what color it should be, please, please, please leave me a comment. I don't... I want to add another layer, but I kind of feel like I'd throw it off balance. So let me know what you think. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Um... Stay tuned, subscribe, follow, whatever, um, whatever you feel like doing. <laughs> if you like my stuff, definitely subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Beyond Acrylic Art. Because, okay, well, Instagram is my main outlet of pictures and videos and stuff like that. I'm trying to do uh, videos here on YouTube to kind of get a little more popularity. Um, just trying to get my voice out there, my name, and yeah. So if you want to buy one of my paintings, please check me out at Etsy. I have a link in the description down below. Um, actually, we have a 25% off sale running right now for the 4th of July. Um, it runs through Friday the 8th? Is it Friday the 8th? I don't know. It's uh, the Friday after the 4th of July. So definitely check that out. And if you're an Instagram follower, in my highlights part of my, uh, um, what's it called? Of my like, where you see like my little icon and my name and what I do and whatever. Um, in the highlights section of I guess it'd be my bio, uh, there's a coupon code for an extra 10% off for all followers on Instagram, so if you're going to buy something, check that out, because, I mean, you're going to get an extra 10% off and everything helps, so, yeah, I'm making this way too long like normal, um, yeah, thank you for watching, we'll see you next time, bye.